So good morning, class eight. We are doing our chapter number three, which is about let's learn Access two thousand term. So uh, so far we have discussed how we can create a table into different manner in Access, and I have told you about data and databases. Why we need the databases? Now we are going to start entering data in the table. Yesterday I have shown you that how you can insert a table, how you can create a table, but I didn't tell you how to in, uh, insert data values in your table and how you can enter data because if we have created our table then we will enter the data in also so now we will understand how we can enter data so when the table uh, structure is defined we can store data in it yes absolutely it's our aim and we can enter data in the data sheet view also there are two types of uh, table creation i told you first one is the data sheet view and the data design view so we can uh, enter data in both view okay so click on view option from the views group where you need to click it uh, click on the view option from the views group of the home tab and select data sheet so if you will select on home tab you can find the view and in the view tab you can uh, select to the data sheet view or double click to the table name in the navigation pane as i have told you yesterday also if you will double click on the table name the navigation pane will open the selected table will open in data sheet view and data entry mode that means if we are talking about the data sheet view that means we are talking about the data entry mode enter the fields value while using tab key to navigate from one field to another Yes, I uh, I have also told you that if you are pressing tab key, then it will lead you to the next column, and uh, from this manner you can also insert the values. A new row will be added automatically to enter the next record in the table. Okay, as you can see on your screen, if I'm uh, creating one Arjun Puri and class eight two Chandan eight, so if I'm pressing table uh, tab key tab key, then it will also in, uh, include my data into my table. so uh, now uh, this is think and answer portion this is for you please solve it also write true and false so it's for you only now open table product saved in the previous activity so i have told you that you need to create a table uh, and you need to give it name the product and add five records in the table and save and close the table now we will also do this practically but now first of all we will complete some vertical portion so now if we have understood how we can insert records in table now we will understand how we can edit them also because editing is very important in the field of computing so data entered in a table can be changed or modified easily if we need it if you want to change it if you want to modify it so you can also do it the editing section so to make changes in the entered data first of all select the table obviously baat hai ki sabse pehle hame select karni padegi table from the navigation pane and open in it uh, in the data sheet view by double clicking on it okay first of all we need to select the table and then uh, hame usko data sheet view mein usko open karna padega theek hai click in the field of the particular record Whose value is to be modified? Supposingly, I want to change it. I want to delete it. So, us field ko par kya karna padega? Us field ko par hume click karna padega. A blinking cursor will appear in the cell. As you can see on your screen. Make the desired changes in the data or enter the new field value. Agar aap kuch changes karna hai, aap changes kar lijiye. Otherwise, agar aapko kuch uh, delete karna hai, so you can also delete the values. So, this is how you can edit the values in your table. and after doing the uh, modification you need to save it also because if you will not save it then the changes will not reflect to your table this is very obvious and this is very common sense usi baat hai ki agar aap usko save nahi karenge to aapko changes jo hai wo reflect nahi karwayega now inserting or deleting records yahan par humne keval edit kiya hai ab hum aur zyada dekhenge ki insert or delete aur kaise kar sakte hain records ko so we can add new records in a table or remove the unwanted records as needed because agar hum table ke upar work kar rahe hain to ye hamare upar hona chahiye ki hum us table ko kaise treat karte hain either we want to insert new records either we want to remove the unwanted records because it's up to us na so how we can do this now let's go so first of all we will understand how to insert a record open the table in data sheet view in which new records is to be added 
click on new option mark my point click on new option in the records group where you need to select records group of the home tab home tab mein aapko kahan jana hai records mein access ads a record at the end of the table dekhiye sabse pehle aapko kya karna hai dekhiye aapko table select karni hai fir uske baad aap dekhiye yahan par select karna hai records mein ठीक है यहाँ पर आप अगर जैसे ही न्यू पे क्लिक करेंगे एक नया जो है वापस से कॉलम्स बन जाएगा ठीक है एंटर द फील्ड वैल्यू अगर आपको उसमें जो भी वैल्यूज इंसर्ट करनी है ना यू कैन इंसर्ट वट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिलीट अ रिकॉर्ड ओपन द टेबल इन डेटा शीट व्यू बार बार हमें डेटा शीट व्यू के ऊपर एम्पोसाइज किया जा रहा है दैट मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन डेटा शीट व्यू इज इट इज क्लियर एंड क्लिक इन द रू हेडर एरिया टू सेलेक्ट द रिकॉर्ड टू बी डिलीटेड जिस भी रिकॉर्ड को रिकॉर्ड का मतलब है पूरा का पूरा रिकॉर्ड डिलीट करना है अपने को तो वो कैसे होगा यानी कि पूरी की पूरी रो वेन एवर वी आर कंसिडरिंग द रिकॉर्ड दैट मीन्स वी आर कंसिडरिंग द रो एज आई है वेरी फर्स्ट क्लास दैट वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रीट कॉल एज फील्ड एंड वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रीट रोज एंड रिकॉर्ड ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिलीट द होल रिकॉर्ड सो हाउ वी कैन डिलीट इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्लिक इन द रो हैडर we need to click on the row header area to select the record to be deleted click on delete option from the records group you can select the delete option as you can see on your screen also and then a confirmation box will appear yes it will ask that you are confirm you are aware that you are going to delete a record if you will click on yes then it will delete permanently and if you will click on no then it will not delete your row so here you can say delete record if you will uh, delete it then it will be deleted so i hope that you have understood how you can insert or delete so here i am going to share my screen to show you how you can do it practically this is my uh, database and i have created a database earlier so here i am loading it here it is so here i can find my table class 8 table also class uh, example 8 table also so i can uh, <clears throat> edit it so if i will double click on it so uh, there i can open it in the data sheet view or either you can click on the view there is the data sheet view we have already open it in the data sheet view now how you will enter the data just select this row uh, let's say 5 no it will not allow because it's required the unique key now i am pressing here 102 tab key let's say 22 salary 10000 and serial number whatever is the serial number you want to give so first of all uh, i am giving serial number 2 just a second okay so here i am inserting some value let's say uh, 101 aur iski main value 10 uh, 100 kar deta hu theek hai to aise hum isko kya kar sakte hain insert kar sakte hain this is how i have told you that how you can insert data entry in your table here i am giving this value 2103 students i am just giving a dummy data okay and i am entering here 18 and salary to the 15000 okay and i am giving here to 102 so this is how you can create your table as well as you can insert the data now what i need to tell you that how you can insert new row how you can delete a row so where you need to click first of all you have to select your row header okay then you need to uh, click on this record if you want to delete it then yes it's asking and i am pressing yes and it's been deleted supposedly i if i need to <coughs> insert new record so here i can go to the records tab and here i can find new once i will click new it will include me one more row here you can see okay and once i have pressed the new i need to insert data into it because agar aap naya record in, uh, insert karte hain to uske andar aapko sabse pehle uska record dena padega supposedly 103 and थाउजेंड एंड वन जीरो 
so so far we have discussed about records record means rows now we will emphasize on fields fields means what field means columns abhi tak humne kya kiya naya record insert kiya naye uh, record ko ya fir kisi bhi record ko humne delete kiya ab hum kis pe emphasize karenge fields ke upar fields ke upar mane ki columns ke upar yani ki now we can insert new column now we can delete a particular column that means we are going to use the fields mark my point students i am not going to use the term column and row i am going to use the term records and fields so please don't be confused so we can add or delete fields in a table while working in data sheet view we can also add fields in between existing field mark my point students that we can also insert a field in between supposingly i have a a and b column and in between that a and b column i want to insert x column then i can also insert an x column in between them okay getting my point so how we can add a field first of all right click on the column header where new column is to be inserted so first of all you need to mention where you want to insert a new column new column means new field step to choose insert field option from the shortcut menu to add a new data field now where you need to click you need to insert field option from the shortcut menu to add a new data field okay here you can see if you will right click on it you will find that insert field now how you can delete a field very easy deleting a field deleting a column uh, or deleting a row is very easy in any program so click on the column header of the field name which is to be removed click on delete from the tools group of the design tab okay tools group from the design tab and select delete column option in it a confirmation dialog box will appear and then you can delete it and click on yes the column will be deleted getting my point now how you can edit the table structure editing the table structure means we have created a table now we are going to change its structure structure means supposingly initially you have created a table in which three columns were there and in that three columns you have applied one to numerical one to the currency and one to the tax now what if you want to change it so you can change uh, the existing table also so a table once created can be modified easily even if data is entered into it no problem so we can add new data fields to the existing table or remove the unwanted data fields from the table open the table in design view using views group okay how you can open it click on the view go to the design view now now we will understand adding new data fields how we can add new data fields first of all select the field name before which you want to add a new field click on insert rows so now we are we have been asked that which kind of row which kind of column you want to insert तो जो भी हमें फील्ड इंसर्ट करनी है उसको हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा सेलेक्ट द फील्ड नेम बिफोर विच यू वांट टू ऐड अ न्यू फील्ड यानी कि जिस फील्ड के बीच में आपको या उसके बाद में आपको नई फील्ड ऐड करनी है वहां पर आप क्लिक करिए क्लिक ऑन इंसर्ट रोज देखिए यहां पर आपको दिख रहा है क्लिक ऑन इंसर्ट रोज वहां पर आप रो को इंसर्ट कर सकते हैं वंस अगेन डिलीटिंग डेटा फील्ड डिलीटिंग डेटा फील्ड के लिए भी क्या करना पड़ेगा सेलेक्ट करना है फाइल टू बी डिलीटेड क्लिक ऑन डिलीट रोज फिर इसके बाद आप वहां पर डिलीट कर सकते हैं यानी कि यहाँ पर हमें दोनों तरीके बताए जा रहे हैं डेटा शीट व्यू में भी बताया जा रहा है और डिजाइन व्यू में भी बताया जा रहा है क्योंकि हमने जब टेबल क्रिएट की थी तो हमने दो तरीकों से की थी डेटा शीट व्यू और डिजाइन व्यू तो हमें इंसर्शन और डिलीशन भी दोनों तरीकों से आना चाहिए ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन इंसर्ट अव फील्ड हाउ वी कैन डिलीट अव फील्ड इन बोथ मैनर इन डेटा शीट व्यू एज वेल एज इन डिजाइन व्यू नाउ now we are going to understand how we can close access so we you can close access by clicking on that close button and your uh, access will be closed so this is how we have completed our chapter conceptually now i am once again sharing my screen to show you the practical implementation of it and then we will uh, wind up this session so uh, here is my access i hope that my screen is visible to everyone isn't it okay so this is my table everyone knows it so if i am double clicking on it it is shown in data sheet view now i am clicking the view okay clicking on view 
here you can see it's been open in the design view or if i click here data sheet view it is the data sheet view if i want to open it in design view it is it's been open in design view if i want to open in data sheet view so i can choose accordingly now what i need to do is i need to select a column here i have selected it now i can click on new sorry it's uh, added the new uh, row so i can delete it also so if it is asking me now you can see you, you can delete it okay so what if i need to click an a uh, new field here i can also new uh, add a new field or if i want to add a new field in design view so here is my design view select the field here i can insert rows here you can find insert rows now you can see i can create this like supposedly i am creating it to a class and here i am selecting it as number okay now i will double click on it or i can view okay here you can see class class has been added to my table so this is how you can insert a new field or you can delete a new field and yes the last thing was that how you can close your access so this is the button from where you can close the access so students this is how we have completed our chapter and i hope that you have enjoyed this session this is a very important and this is a very useful application which we have worked on and the chapter was the let's learn access 2010 so please students take care of yourself and uh, follow the covid appropriate behavior